once again. Hello everyone, I'm G Tanji and you're watching Kababayan today. We're launching our social media Mondays. Kaya naman kasama natin ang kaibigan natin mula sa Rappler.com. Ryan Macasaro is a Philam originally from the San Francisco Bay Area, working in Manila as the Balikbayan editor for Rappler.com, a platform for Filipinos worldwide to share their stories in rediscovering Filipino identity and to discuss the issues that matter to them. Hi Ryan, kamusta na? Kamusta dyan sa Pilipinas? Hi G, maayos naman po. Nandi, um, magandang hapon sa mga uh, Kababayan Today viewers. Um, it's about 1 a.m. here in Manila, but we have a lot of stories to talk about today. So I'm very excited to um, talk with you all. All right. Well, Ryan, I know that you moved back from the Bay Area to the Philippines. How's it been and how yes. long have you been there now? Oh, my gosh. I've been here for about a year and six months, and it's been a, a roller coaster ride. Um, it's been an amazing experience getting to rediscover my roots, getting to visit the different provinces. It's a beautiful but crazy country. <laughs> That's true. Well, I'm so glad yeah. that we're going to be corresponding with you more often. Yes. Let's get uh, right to it. I know a lot of people are talking about this issue about Jennifer Laude. Let's talk about that because I know that the Filipinos, even all the way in New York, are in an uproar about this issue. Our, our correspondent in New York City, Len Almaden Thornhill, was there at the protest on October 15th where the Filipino community came out in support of Jennifer Laude. Um, one of the Episcopalian priests um, spoke, was very vocal ab about his support for, um, you know, finding justice for this, for this woman who was killed. A lot of people are making an issue that she was transgender, that she possibly was found in the motel room. But as far as he's concerned, um, she's a human being and justice must be served for that simple fact that she's a human being, he said. Right. Isn't the priest's sister, isn't she... Also, uh, a transgender woman. Am I correct or am I wrong? Yes, she's also a transgender woman. So this was very, very personal to him. Yes. Okay, so for people that don't know what's going on, let's talk about Jennifer Laude. Uh, she's a transgender woman uh, from Malongopo City. She was found dead yes. in a motel room. Uh, last seen with uh, Scott Pembleton, correct? Yes. Yes, uh, who, ju who just happens to be in the U.S. military. And let's talk about the Visiting Forces Agreement, uh, why yeah. people are in an uproar about this. So um, the Visiting Forces Agreement is a bilateral agreement between the United States and the Philippines for military training exercise purposes. But there is a provision in the v Visiting Forces Agreement that if a military person is caught committing a crime here in the Philippines, the United States has the right to exercise custody over, um, over that military person. And we saw this in, I think it was 2007, with the Nicole and um, Daniel Smith case. Mm -hmm. um, and we're seeing it again here yes. um, with, with this case. All right, Ryan. Hashtag justice for Jennifer Laude. You can see it on yes. Twitter. People are really talking about this. Let's move on. Let's talk about the wounded warrior, Joseph Bakani. What can you tell us about this story? Right. So um, this is also from our, our um, content partners in the United States, Filipinos out of San Francisco. Mm -hmm. We have a story about this um, Filipino-American war veteran who was recently enshrined as Americans Disabled for Life um, Memorial on October 5 in Washington, D.C. And he is the only Filipino-American to be uh, memorialized there. He was wounded in Iraq in 2007. Um, he was shot in the pelvis by a sniper. And at first he was wounded from the neck down, but um, and now he's in a wheelchair and he's a student at Columbia University. Wonderful um, so news! Very, yes, yes. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Uh, it's domestic violence abusers. This was a story on Rappler.com that's getting a lot of traction. Let's talk about the author and what she had to say about this. Right. So this is also from Philippine News by the executive editor, um, Cherie Carol Moreno. She's um, a journalist and also a, a very staunch domestic violence awareness advocate in the San Francisco Bay Area. Mm -hmm. So this month, is, uh, October, uh, this month, October, is Domestic Violence Awareness Month. And um, I think if you can remember that earlier this month, domestic violence made the headlines with the Ray Rice scandal when a video of the football player assaulting his fiancée in the elevator went viral. His That's fiance, right. Um, yes, but despite this video, she chose to stand by her man and they eventually got married, and a lot of people didn't understand why she would do that. Why do victims stay with their abusers? 
Right. And Terry writes about writes just about this. Um, you know, it, it seems simple, just leave, right? Mm -hmm. But um, but it's but, complicated. Uh, right. It's really not that simple. There's a million. You know, it's, there's millions of reasons why a domestic abuse victim would stay. It's a very multifaceted issue, especially within the Filipino American community. Yes. Um, I think it's a very stigmatized issue, and it's not something that. A lot of people talk about. Oh, oh hindi so natin people... pinag-uusapan to, di ba? Dahil uh -oh. yung pagbubugbog ng asawa o hindi lang asawa, anak right. or even magulang. Uh, there's considered yes. domestic abuse, uh, not just physically but emotionally, psychologically, right. di ba? Yeah, it's not just by it's not just physical violence is um, I think one important thing to remember. Yes, maraming salamat, Ryan. Uh, I look forward to discussing more for Social Media Mondays. Uh, I'm so happy that uh, you're on the show talking to us and sharing your experiences from the Philippines with Rappler.com. Right, very happy to be here. All right. Well, if you want to check out their stories, please check them out at Rappler.com. You can also find Ryan Macasaro's. Um, articles on the website. Maraming salamat, Ryan. We'll be right back here on Kababayan today for Mommy Mondays with Anjanetta Bayari. Don't go away.